final day of ice cream week. I know it's super sad, all this ice creamness all week is finally coming to an end, but we are ending things off with one of my favorite flavor combinations, chocolate and peanut butter. Who doesn't love that combination? They're like a match made in heaven, so I decided to whip them up into an ice cream flavor for you guys. It's basically my guilty pleasure turned into an ice cream that's healthy, that I can eat without the guilt. So if you guys are a chocolate and peanut butter lover, you're totally going to dig this ice cream recipe. And if you haven't checked out the other videos I did all week long, I'll have a playlist down below in the info box which you can check out and get all inspired to make your own homemade ice cream right at home. So let's hop right in into today's recipe. For the ingredients you're going to need, some coconut milk and soy milk, peanut butter, soaked cashews, honey or any sweetener of choice, chocolate chips, arrowroot flour, sea salt, and vanilla. In a saucepan, you're gonna mix together your milk and your sweetener. Give it a whisk and then bring that up to a boil on the stovetop. Once it's been brought up to a boil, you can go ahead and ladle out some of the mixture into a separate side bowl and whisk in the arrowroot flour to dissolve it fully. Once it's all dissolved, add that back into the main mixture. Give it a whisk and then bring that back to the stovetop on low to medium heat and simmer for about five minutes. Transfer it into a glass bowl to fully cool for about 45 minutes. Once cooled, you can transfer it into a high speed blender along with your peanut butter, soaked cashews, vanilla, and some sea salt. Give it a blend until nice and smooth. As always, the full written recipe will be over on my blog, healthnutnutrition.ca. I will have a link for it down below. Once it's all blended up, you can transfer it into your ice cream maker, making sure to follow the directions on whatever machine you're using. I had to place my bowl in the freezer for 24 hours before making this and churn it for about 25 minutes until you've reached a soft serve texture. During the last five minutes, you can add in some chopped up chocolate chips. And then this is what it should look like. It's so good, guys. It tastes like frozen whipped peanut butter with chocolate chips. I love it. Scoop it out into whatever container you'd like to use. I'm using this awesome ice cream tub. I will have a link for it down below. I found the exact same one on Amazon. And this is what your ice cream should look like. Peanut butter with chocolate chips. Scoop some out into a bowl to serve right away to yourself or to some guests if you have them over. And there you have it, a decadent, creamy, peanut butter, chocolate chip ice cream that you don't have to feel guilty if you eat the whole tub. So that's gonna be it for today's video and for Ice Cream Week. If you made any of the recipes that I shared throughout the week, be sure to snap a photo and share it on social media using the hashtag Health and Eat so I can find it and like it and leave me a comment down below letting me know like what series you would like for me to do next. It could be something for back to school or for like fall time, whatever you guys like. I would love to hear your ideas so I could do another series like this. And if you guys aren't already, don't forget to subscribe. You can do so by clicking right here so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Have a fabulous day. Bye.